me in there sometimes. <laughs> uh, you have a class right now with uh, Luis Humberto? Yes. yes. But I think he was sleeping. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When do you have your classes? Uh, only Wednesday, um, to uh, okay, seven uh, to seven. Eight. Yeah. Yes. At seven, okay. Yes. It, is everybody join the class or just some of you? Uh, no, only some of us. Okay. Yes. And what do you talk about? What do you work on? <laughs> yes, teacher. What do you guys work on with uh, Luis Humberto? Uh, today? Uh, either today or in general, is it? Oh, uh, yeah. grammar. Grammar, okay. Uh, and what are you working on today? Or what are you struggling with? Yes. ¿Qué tipo de cosas tienen dudas o qué que estaban practicando hoy sobre la gramática? Uh, bueno, es que es sobre gramática, pero mmm, nos dijo que también podíamos preguntarle de escritura y es donde tenemos como que más dudas con los tipos de, de cláusulas y así. Ah, okay. yes. The last class we started to, to check the tenses. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y sí si es, it's just like a feedback of the grammar class. Ah, uh, okay. And are you writing like complex sentences and watching the tenses for the different clauses? Yes. Okay. No, we are with uh, types of dependent clauses like attitude clauses adverb clauses but it is a bit difficult <laughs> do you do you call uh, adjective clauses relative clauses or do you call them adjective clauses uh adjective clauses okay yes because there's also called uh, relative clauses and then you can learn relative pronouns that begin relative clauses like who which uh, yes. and that, right? Yes. So sometimes it's easier to think, for some, it's easier to think of them as relative clauses because that reminds us that they begin with relative pronouns. Oh, yes. Yeah? That's another way. Yes. That's true. another way to think about them. Mm -hmm. And then the adverbial clauses, subordinating clauses, or subordinating conjunctions. Right. So sometimes the adverb, the adverbial clauses are called subordinating clauses. And subordinating clauses start with subordinating conjunctions. So for me, it helps me to remember relative clauses begin with relative pronouns and subordinating clauses begin with subordinating conjunctions. Like they have the same name. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure. If I were you guys, I always recommend to students. Eh, para mí es más fácil de tener listas para todos. Una lista para subordinate conjunction. Una lista para prepos uh, prepositions. Una lista de los verbos irregulares. Una lista que tienen como tres columnas. Como uh -huh. el verbo en el base, en el pasado y participio pasado. Uh -huh. y, y siempre tienen estas listas cuando están haciendo algunas actividades en, en your grammar class o writing class, pues ya siempre tienes esta lista para guiarte. Sí. sí. Porque there's, there's a lot of subordinating conjunctions, uh, there are a lot of uh, verbs, of course, and things. So, uh -huh. yeah. Y luego está su idea, ¿y cuáles eran las preposiciones? ¿Y cuáles eran las subordinating conjunctions? Sí. Porque también a veces la misma palabra puede ser una preposición, a preposition, y a veces puede ser una subordinating conjunction, dependiendo cómo está funcionando, ¿verdad? En la clase, ah. en, en, en la frase. Ah, no, sí. Sí. 
All right, guys. Good morning. Are we recording? I hope we're recording. Yes, we are recording. Great. <laughs> hello, everyone. Say hello if you haven't already. Make sure your mic is on. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. It's good to see everyone. Happy hump day. We're in week nine already. Wow, we're over halfway finished. It's awesome. Time flies when you're having fun, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, today, my friends. Today, my friends, we are going to start with, uh, I want to give anyone who has not had a chance yet to do the speaking activity, if you want to go ahead and raise your hand right now, I will, will um, I'll give you an opportunity this morning to uh, participate. When we finish with our speaking prompt, uh, we're going to, uh, we've got a song for today, so we're going to listen to a song, and then we're going to break into our groups for the rest of the class and give you some opportunities, uh, some time today to continue what we started yesterday, thinking about travel arrangements, thinking about all the vocabulary related to putting together a valuable organized travel vacation for a family from Aguas Calientes. All right, so let's start with our speaking activity. If anyone who has not participated would like to participate, please raise your hand at this time. If anyone would like to participate who has not participated in the speaking activity from last Friday, please raise your hands. Does everyone know how to raise your hands? Again, this is just for those who have not participated. If you've participated, no worries. We're going to have another speaking uh, activity this Friday as well. Okay, so if anyone is having issues with your equipment, I highly recommend that you get with me uh, outside of class so that we can try to find a solution. Okay, if technology is interfering with our class, okay, whether it's our, the online classes, whether it's the assignments that we're, we're doing uh, outside of class, inside of class, in whatever way, if there is a, a um, challenge for you with the technology, then we need to have a discussion. Okay, we need to have, we need to try to meet outside of class and try to find a solution to the problem. Okay, so it's really up to you. It's your responsibility to reach out to me and set up time outside of class to find a solution, right? If it's interfering with what we're doing in class, okay? I, I, I'm always trying to be very flexible, but it all depends on how we communicate back and forth. And the best way to handle a problem is to handle it right away instead of waiting days and, and trying to maybe find a solution, but you're not able to, and, and then I'm not aware of it, and, you know, I don't know what's going on, and so on. So, um, yeah. That's that's what I would recommend. If anyone is having issues, okay, um, please reach out to me. And in in some cases, if it's a serious issue, then we need to get online. We need to talk about it and find out. Try to find a plan B here, right? Because we don't want the technology to interfere with what we're trying to achieve in this class. So no one wants to speak. Okay, I need everyone to raise their hand for those who have not participated. If you want to participate in the speaking activity and get a grade, then I'm going to ask that you raise your hand. Going once. Going twice.
All right. So I'll take that as a no. So let's go. Let me open up my page here. All right, let's uh, let's dive into our song for today. I'm going to share my screen. And today's song is Passengers Let Her Go. This was by uh, Maria E. Is that uh, Maria de la Cruz? Is that right? Is uh, Maria here? Is Maria here today? Or whoever, who uh, who recommended Passenger from Let Her Go? Wow, it's awful quiet this morning. <laughs> yes. I feel very alone this morning. So, <laughs> Maria, is Maria here? I hate to share a song if the person who recommended the song is not here. I, I feel we're not getting the full the full effect here. So I don't see Maria. I guess if no one's going to speak up, we'll move on and we'll come back. We'll wait till Maria is in class. We'll listen to the song. We'll ask Maria, hey, why did you uh, recommend this song? What do you like about the song? Because she was the one that recommended it. So I hate to really participate and listen to the song without her presence. I'm looking here in the list, and I don't see Maria. I'm assuming this is uh, Maria um, de la Cruz, Esparza, I think is her last name, if I'm not mistaken. So she's not here. Well, bummer. All right, we'll move on. No worries. So... The rest of the class, guys, today, we're going to continue what we started yesterday. And I would like if someone could be kind enough to turn on at least your microphone and preferably also your camera. And feel free to turn it on even if you're not going to speak. It's always good to see your faces. Um, but can someone summarize what we did yesterday, the activity about the travel arrangements, what were some takeaways, takeaway, uh, takeaways for you from yesterday based on what we started, the activity that we started yesterday? What do you think? Anybody want to summarize what we, the activity that we did yesterday? The traveling teacher. I'm sorry? The traveling. The traveling. <laughs> okay. And so what did we, what do we have to, um, consider what are the what's the context of the travel arrangements what's the situation a family of five or four members okay what more do they need remember weather conditions Food, money, transportation, money, clothes, weather. All right. And yeah, we, we talked about weather and, and clothes. I would probably consider those less necessary. Okay. Um, some of you mentioned, what, what do you think, what aspects of your travel plans are probably more important than weather and clothes? Let's just assume that the weather, you know, is going to be decent uh, enough. Uh, what other, what are some, what other main considerations should we consider? Family of four, definitely. What else? Food. Food. 
food, okay. Transportation. Transportation. The hotel or the place where they are going to stay. That's right, the hotel or the place where they're going to stay. And that's a important consideration because it could be a hotel and, and probably it is a hotel, but it doesn't have to be a hotel. Any other considerations? Budget. All right, a budget. All right, and what is a budget? What does that mean? What does it look like? What what does it mean by a budget? Separate the money. Like All right, and what so what does it look like or what will it look like okay. in your task when you do your task? If the family is poor, you have to to see them street. <coughs> What's the, what's the definition of a, of a budget? What does that mean? In Spanish? The money. All right, let's try in English. What do you think? What, like, it's when what? How would you explain what it means to create a budget? It's like um, the money you have to travel in that place like the only money you have to spend like for everything you want to buy or for your hotel reservation all right so in this situation who actually creates a budget more than likely who would create the budget family probably the family all right, probably the family because they know how much they have. They know how much they can spend or how much they want to spend, right? So you're you're going to create because you work for the travel agency. That's your role for this activity. So you're going to create a quote, a quotation. Okay, I'll put this word here. You're going to create a quote. Now this quote, what's a quote mean? What do you think? Or a quotation? Any ideas? It's like a phrase, no? Okay, uh, yeah, it, it, it is, uh, that's a, when somebody quotes someone else, so if I quote, uh, Moan say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say exactly what she told me <clears throat> and I'm going to quote her word for word. <clears throat> so that could be. Right, that <clears throat> that's one meeting, but this actually is a different meaning and think of it in terms of this activity. Uh, you work at a travel agency and. Somebody says, I need a quote. For a vacation. Cotiza. Right. Yes, yeah, so that's what you're going to be actually doing. I'm asking you to work in your teams to create a quote. Okay, a quote is basically saying how much something is going to. Now you provide more. The quote, right? You're going to provide the details about the food, the hotel, et cetera, the transportation and all of that. But you're also going to include the quote, how much is all of this going to cost, right? All right, what other considerations of this performance do we need to think about that we need to consider? Dai, what do you think? Um, activities that you are going to do. That's another big one, right? What kind of activity? So not just the hotel and food, but once you're there, right? What other activities and how much would they cost, right? To do those activities with the family of four, right? Or maybe it's even just for the kids. It depends. That's something that you can decide as, as a team, okay? So who's going to participate and what kind of activities? Are they more appropriate for adults, the parents, or 
are they for everybody or are they more appropriate for the children or the kids right now the kids how old are the kids in our situation in our context We have a family of four, so we have we're going to assume two parents and two children. How old are the children for the purposes of this activity? 18 and 15. That's right. They're 18 and 15, so they're actually young adults, right? So they're not children like young kids. They're actually young adults, so that's going to be important for getting uh, choosing which activities perhaps right the food <laughs> let's assume they are you know teenagers that love to eat so think about that maybe even figure what kind of food they like but you know think about your typical teenager who likes to consume food so uh, what else what other considerations should we take that we should we uh, look into when we're completing this activity? Uh, we also should consider the date because, for example, in vacations or in a holiday, the hotels or the restaurants could be more expensive. That's a good one, right? That's a good uh, comment. So when should we consider now? Uh, Let's let's assume because we want to make this as real as possible, right? So today is October 21st. And so for everyone, for everybody, um, for ever all the teams, let's consider a time frame of anywhere from you know next month to one year from now. All right. So as a team, you can decide on the dates from anywhere from November 1st through October 20th, 2021, okay? When you're thinking about when would be a good time to make those travel arrangements. Does anyone remember the number of days that we are considering that we talked about yesterday? Anybody remember the, that range? Three to ten. That's right. That's right. So any type of vacation from three days to ten days. Now, what other aspect should we consider that's really important? That's really the basis of doing a or offering a good travel arrangement. Well, there's another aspect. the weather <laughs> um yeah let's because that's going to be kind of difficult i mean certainly weather I, i'm thinking you know realistically we probably maybe want to avoid certain uh hurricane maybe hurricane season perhaps but um i think we have enough considerations uh i would suggest you know for me personally I, i'm not going to worry too much about the weather conditions we have a lot of other things that i would uh, that we can focus on but there's something else that makes a good performance that's gonna make a uh, for you guys to do a good job with this task and what other aspect should we take into consideration when we're creating our quote for these travel plans. And I typed it into the chat. What do I mean by value? If I say your travel plans, your quote, right, or your proposal, because that's what you're creating, a proposal, it should be, it should have a lot of value. It should be the most valuable 
quote, the most valuable travel plans that you can create. What do I mean by value in this case? What if I say this? We want to get the most out of the vacation. So in that what I'm looking for is for you guys to find the cheapest, the most inexpensive travel vacation. No. What it means is based on what you're proposing, the types of activities, the types of food, the types of hotel or, or the hotel, the transportation, Everything that you're proposing for what it cost, you're getting the most out of the vacation. Does that make sense? It's like it's there. It's a good deal, right? I mean, uh, whatever money that's going to be spent, you're getting a lot for your money. You're receiving a lot of benefit for what you're spending. So that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the cheapest because sometimes it could be the cheapest vacation, but it could also be a horrible vacation, right? It could be a one star hotel and you know, you're, you're hitchhiking to Mexico city. And I mean, it could be really, um, just a not very fun uh, vacation. All right. So this is what I want you to consider when you're figuring quotes, when you're figuring prices, when you're going online, because we want to get realistic. This is going to be a realistic vacation, right? This has to be with real prices from real hotels, from real, you know, bus lines. If you're going to take a bus, right? Or an air fare. Okay. So this is really important. We want a valuable, quote, we want a valuable vacation. We want to get the most out of our money. Okay. So let's assume that this family has, you know, considerable amount. Money is not really the problem. Okay. So they could spend pretty much whatever they want to spend, but it's about getting the most value, getting the most for their money. Does that make sense? This concept of value guys? Yes. Okay, if you're if you're not sure, let me know or we can talk about it when we break out into our teams. If you're still not sure about this idea, because it's not about the most expensive. Usually it's not about the most expensive, you know, hotel. It's not usually about the cheapest hotel. It's the most valuable. Okay. So uh what else? Anything else that we talked about yesterday that we still need to talk about to review? Let's review once again what we're working, what uh, the process is uh, for today. Okay, what are we doing in our teams? What do we? Uh, what did we start yesterday? What are we going to do today? How are we going to work together today in our teams? We have to create a uh, sway. Um, That's but right. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a question. Well, we have to. It is about our travel agency. And we have to use images and audios. All right, so think of the sway. All right, so you work at a travel agency. And uh, I'm the family. I have a, there's, we have a family of four, so I can't meet with you at the travel agency because of COVID, right? So I can't go and see your travel agency. I can't see you personally. So you're going. You guys are really smart, and you're going to say, "Hey, no worries. We're going to create a presentation online, and we're going to present to you the." Uh, the travel arrangements, the quote. So in your sway for now, all right, don't include any audio or video. All right, so okay. do, do not include any audio or video. You can include images 
you can include information about your uh, your proposal. And so probably it's a good idea to <clears throat> create a name for your travel agency. You can have a logo if you want, OK? Um, but you decide how you want to present the information for your sway. All right, later, and not now, but later, we'll talk about how I'm going to want us to present your proposal, how you're going to speak and explain it. But for right now, and this is really important, when you guys are working and you're recording your online sessions and you're uploading your recordings to week nine, the folder for week nine, please make sure that you're speaking in English. This whole exercise right now, the benefit for you in this class, listening and speaking, is that you're listening and speaking in English, working together, trying to come up with a proposal for a vacation, using sway, adding text, right, images, make it look nice. So this has this needs to be informative, but it also needs to look attractive. And you decide as a team talking in English. Look, if you guys talk in Spanish, this exercise is a waste of time, right? This I'm trying to give yeah. you an excuse for speaking in English that is somewhat real. Because everything that we're yeah. talking about here, except for the actual name of the agency, you can create that. You can make it up. Right. But everything else is pretty real. Right. If I if I'm going to take your advice, uh, if I have some money, I'll talk to my wife and our, my boys. I'll say, hey, do you guys want to go? I got a, a really good deal on a vacation. Right. But again, I'm not the target audience. You want to figure who would be the target, who would uh, get the most out of this vacation. So the sway, you do not have to upload any audio or video. The the the. Uh, the speaking, the listening, speaking part of this exercise, again, is the recording of your informal discussions. OK, this is not formal. This is just, hey, OK, what do you guys think? This, this and this. No, I think this. No, I think this. Oh, let's vote. OK, well, I, just I see. But all in, okay. in English and help each other. Right. If some because some of you are going to talk in Spanish, I know. So it's going to be your responsibility when your teammate is speaking in Spanish, say, hey, and be nice, be respectful. Say, hey, how how can you say that in in English? And then you could actually help each other with vocabulary and say, OK, no, this is the word in, in English. No, I don't know what that word is. And then maybe you create a list of words that you have to go back and look up later or you know whatever. But see how we can work together, see how you guys can work together to accomplish this task, right? But communicating and helping each other out, right? And don't don't uh, don't speak English just because I come in to your your uh, your conversation, right? You want to be speaking in English constantly, 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 right? This we're still in this process of okay, it feels uncomfortable, maybe it it feels weird to talk to. Our our uh, classmates in Spanish and English, right? But help each other, encourage each other, and require each other to speak in English. It's really up to you how you guys help each other and get the most out of this this task. Okay. 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 Right. Thank you. Any so other any other questions about? what we're going to do for today's task. No. No. No more questions? No. All right. So let's go ahead and break into our groups. Everyone should now uh, have our new groups. Uh, I will say one more thing. I'm sorry. One more thing. Um, I still I'm missing, I think, groups 13. Oh, I forget now. I think it's group eight. Uh, I still don't see your video, right? I Unless I'm missing it, I looked in 
the eighth, the folder for week eight, and I don't see a video file that says team 08 underscore PT2. I don't see that, and I don't see it for group 13. So this is from last week, okay? Not, not, not this week, but last week, the performance task, group eight, group 13, uh, later after class, uh, please make sure that the video is up there, is uploaded so that I can um, download them. I think those are the only two that I have left that have I don't have, and I want to have all of them before I start uh, evaluating uh, your performance. Okay, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to be online, of course. We'll come back at 940 to close the class. Um, I'll be online, send me a message or jump into this uh, chat if you have questions, if we need to talk about things as a team, as a group, if you guys have uh, some questions that come up. Um, let's go ahead and <clears throat> head, <clears throat> excuse me, let's go ahead and get started. And um, again, we'll come back at 940. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys, it's 940. I think we'll go ahead and close today's class. I am looking through Microsoft Teams into each group, and uh, this is what I'm looking for. Hopefully you can see my screen. So I'm looking for the recordings, okay? So yesterday we started. Uh, you should have a brief recording from yesterday. Uh, we only met for about 10 minutes uh, because it was at the end of the class. But you should have some meeting where you started discussing the um, some ideas related to presenting a travel arrangement for for a family of four. So you probably should have a recording from yesterday and you should have a recording from today's meeting. Remember that all meetings should be recorded and uploaded to a folder for week nine. So this is what I'm doing right each day. I go in. And I may take a quick look here uh, in the post, but then I go into files and I'm looking for a folder called week nine, right? So here I should see recorded meetings from our activities that we're doing in class. So make sure that, that you're uploading your videos. Group two, I'm going looking under files, okay? So this is from uh, from their activity from yesterday. Okay, group three, files, week nine. Okay, and I'm going to each, each group to see or look for these files. Now, I noticed that in some cases, are, uh, some, of, some groups are uploading a Word document, and if that's necessary, that's fine, but remember that the sway should really have all the information that you need for your proposal. So it's up to you how you want to work, right? But uh, you could also just include all of the information in the sway. And as you're in the process of organizing, of course, you know, it's it doesn't it, there's a process of organizing the information. And so you could use sway if it's easier just to use one space to organize your ideas. Uh, you know, you could think of it that way. Group five files. Okay, I don't see a I, I don't see a, a week nine yet for group five. Group six, week nine. Okay, so make sure that you're uploading your online meetings. One of the core the the key reasons for doing these online meetings is for us to practice English and that you're communicating with each other. In English, but we need evidence of this, uh, of these interactions. All right. So, are there any questions about the activity that we started yesterday and that we continued today? Uh, teacher. No, teacher. Me, teacher. We you... can also need to write the prices for the activities, right? And the food and all of that. Um, not necessarily. You might include like some examples, maybe just some images of maybe the types of food, perhaps depending on, uh, you know, exactly what, uh, what you're proposing. Because 
it really depends if, for example, the food is going to be part of an all-inclusive plan within the hotel, then maybe you're not going to have much to, to show except for you know mentioning that it's part of the all-inclusive plan. If the uh, food relates to a certain type of dish or certain type of food that is representative of that air that area, right? So for example, some typical dishes from the south of Mexico and and that's where the the hotel is, and that's what you want to, you know, uh, stress, then you might have some images of those types of food. So it's really going to be uh, dependent on the type of food that that you're uh, including in your proposal. OK, but for example, the activities, if we wrote like, I don't know, like around 10 activities, uh, do we need to write the price that activity has? Yes, uh -huh. that the, you need to in some way, depending on how the prices are, how they price the activities, um, yeah, you would have to, you want to include how much it's going to cost to participate in the activities that you're proposing. And so it could even be a type of itinerary that is, you know, you could kind of plan certain days, like on this day, you, you can go here, this day you can go here, and this is how much it would cost to participate in those activities. It doesn't have to be super detailed, like you're going to, you don't have to plan for the whole day, but you can you can examples of different types of activities and their costs, right? That you could uh, expect. Now, maybe some of the activities, you know, would be, uh, you know, maybe you have to travel a little bit to get to the activity, depending on where the activity is in relation to the hotel. And so maybe you would have to figure transportation to that activity, right? But you want to give the family enough information about the activity itself and then any costs associated with participating in that activity. So it's hard to give you a clear answer because it depends on exactly, you know, what where the hotel is, what kind of activity it is. Um, but try to keep that in mind. And this is something if you if you want, we can talk about it with your team to to give you more of a, a specific answer to to that question. But it's really just going to depend on, you know, the type of activities that you're talking about. OK, thank you. All right. Any other questions, guys? No. All right, so uh, just a reminder, if you haven't already, please check the instructions for this Friday's podcast, podcast episode number seven for week nine. Um, you should be able to find the instructions in this video I shared with you yesterday in class. Uh, this is, I think I shared the link with you in the chat and share this again in the chat. But please make sure that you're you've already partnered partnered up with your classmate and you've started listening to the different podcasts and preparing for your interview with your with your partner. Okay, so just a reminder that this week is going to be a little bit different for your podcast. And again, I'm going to include the link here. I think it was also included in yesterday's chat. But please check those out if you haven't already. Of course, if you have questions. Uh, let me know. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and stop there. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.